Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another special video for you how to overclock your GPU safely for getting more performance out of your PC for gaming on your any GPU with your any PC build. So guys, make sure to watch my this whole video if you want to increase your PC performance for gaming or overclocking your GPU safely without any kind of the harm. So guys, stick with this video till the end and also if it's your first time here, so please make sure to subscribe, turn on the bell notification and drop a like on this video. So let's go straight into this video. So guys, first of all, you need to download this GPU overclocking pack on your computer. You will go to this folder or zip file on your PC from the description link down there of my this video. So open up the link from description and that will take you onto the download page. Simply download this pack on your computer. Once you download this GPU overclocking pack, open up this folder and here you will got these two files. First one for the MSI combustor, that is the application by the MSI for checking the overclocking is stable or not. And second file that is the MSI afterburner itself, the software for boosting or overclocking your GPU. So first of all, install the MSI afterburner. So double click here, you will got this kind of the exe file, drop it here on your same folder. Now double click here. Click OK, click Next, click I accept the uh, all the term and the license agreements, click Next and install the software on your computer. So once you guys are done with all of this stuff, uncheck this box, click Finish and close out the zip file and also uncheck this box and run the MSA Afterburner, click Finish and you will go to this kind of the interface of the MSI Afterburner. Next thing guys, now you need to install out this MSI combustor setup for testing the limits of your CPU. Therefore, we can do everything safely. Again, click all the agreement I accept. Click next and install the software on your computer. And uh, yeah, once you're done, it will also take a few seconds to installing the software. So guys, until it's installed, I'm going to show you a simple preview of the software. So here we're done. Click next and uh, uncheck this box click finish and guys here we're done so now i'm going to show you a simple preview of the software first of all what, in, what settings you need to change and how all these things work so the thing is that here you will go to this fan section the clock section and the voltage section so now we are gonna guys do all of the settings for overclocking over gpu safely without any kind of the harm of our gpu life or over gpu hardware itself so now what you need to do first of all guys here is the fan section so you need to first of all guys run this msa afterburner or this msa combustor software both at the same time simply double click here you will go to this kind of the window you need to click on the run this press test click on this button and guys here it will uh, start running the stress test on your computer with the 720 p window and guys here you can check it out here this gpu temperature here you can check it out here the speed the fps i am getting and here you can check it out here the gpu load of the gpu on my computer and also you can check it out here this a uh, cpu load and under it you can also find out here all of the specification of my gpu and here you can check it out here right now the uh, cpu or the temperature of my gpu is right now that is 74 degrees celsius and that is also fine so now let's go for the next settings now what settings you need to do you need to open up this msa afterburner and now you need to uh, exactly follow every setting which i'm going to show you so now the first setting that is the fan settings you need to change as i'm showing you so you need to increase your power limit to the maximum of the msi afterburner software here you will got this same exact number like I am getting here that is I think the 109 and that is the maximum for my GPU. When I will increase the power limit from the MSI afterburner, the temperature limit also increase automatically. And the next setting that is the fan speed. I suggest you to guys don't use it onto the automatic. Simply guys use it onto the 75% because this is the best and also your a CPU or your GPU will stay stable and also you can check it out here the temperature increase to the 78% this is guys a completely safe you not need to worry about anything because the temperature of your GPU in the limit of the 75 to the 85 is completely safe this is not harmful for it so guys once you're done with the settings now you need to go for the next settings that is over core speed and guys if the temperature of your gpu increase so i suggest you to simply 
increase the speed of your fan that's fine and that will reduce the temperature of your gpu also itself so once you're done now let's go for our next settings that is uh, this core clock settings and now you need to guys uh, fully uh, understand it how it's work and how you need to guys change this value increase this value so you need to do the increase or increment of the value into the core clock with the 20 percent so guys simply click here and type here 20 and press enter from your keyboard and there guys you can check it out here the increase of the uh, speed fps it will guys increase with the time and guys still my pc is still uh, it is completely stable there is no any kind of the harm or crashing we are using the msi afterburner on our computer or this msi combustor for checking our pc is stable right now or not so guys you need to increase the value of the core clock so like i do the 20 percent increment now i will do the 40 percent in increment and guys still my pc is stable and it is working properly and you need to guys always keep eye here on the gpu temperature because it is important thing if the if the temperature of the gpu will increase from the 70 uh, 85 percent so that will be harmful for your gpu if temperature will increase so guys you need to increase uh, the speed of your fan for guys making the temperature more stable so now let's go for the next you need to guys keep increasing this value until guys your gpu or the software or your pc not fully crash crashing is not a problem you don't need to take worry about if your pc crash just need to keep increasing this value with the increment of the 20 percent when your pc will crash then you need to guys stop the settings there so once you guys done because for my pc that is the 40 percent now let's go for the memory clock and same thing guys you need to also do for the memory clock you need to again do the increment of the 20 percent again and again with the uh, memory clock so simply type at 20 press enter if your pc is working stably it's working fine the software is working fine and the pressure is okay then you need to guys keep going with the increment of the 20 percent when your pc will crash you need to stop on that value and you need to decrease uh, that value onto the like 20 or the 30 percent like for example if i increase this value onto the 100 percent and my pc will uh, crash so i need to reduce the value from 100 to the 70 percent for making my pc more stable so guys that settings you need to do for you overlooking your gpu so once you're done with all of the settings like for example i'm typing here 40 and press enter you need to click here onto this button like save button and guys here you will go this kind of slot active so you need to click on this one and here about this slot is now activated and now also check mark on to this option which is apply at windows startup whenever your computer will guys turn on all of the settings will apply automatically and that is perfectly fine but i will not guys suggest you to run it automatically because whenever you want to play the game so you need to run the msi afterburner in your background and simply hit on the apply button and that will apply the settings on your computer so guys that's it for this video and i hope so you love this video and, and also this is very useful for you so please make sure to guys subscribe to my channel turn on the bell notification drop a like on this video and also leave your pc specs in the comment section therefore i can help you to guys finding the best settings for your pc or improving your pc performance so guys still at the next video peace out